Lady Blackbird is the same game every time. You have a set of characters with set backstories. You have a setting. It's basically the ship from Firefly. This is Firefly Star Wars the game. You start with these characters, it's always the exact same situation, and you play it out, and it always ends somewhere crazy different every time you play it. Also, Sky Squid. If you want, it's set in a steampunk world where a planet exploded, and there's all these floating islands, and there's airships to get around. The mechanic that's interesting is the, hey, this is just like that time we did that thing. So if you're in the middle of a situation and you need bonus dice, you turn to the friend with you and say, yo, escaping from these pirates, this is totally just like that time we had to get away from your mom's pirates. <laughs> yeah, the sky squid. If, so the, <laughs> the character's backstories are so simple and they're given to you. You don't make anything. You don't make a character at all. During the game, you add to the character. You enrich the character in the course of play. Which is great, because there's no elements. preparation like other RPGs. You just sit down, boom, play. Three out of four times I've played this, it turned into a romantic comedy by the end. <laughs> and in one of them, everybody died. <laughs> so if I'm going to tell the story of my character here, I'm not going to talk about my strength stat. That's not interesting. And it turns out that that's the only part of my character that is character. That is story, who he knows, what he's done, where he's going, why he fights for what he fights for. That's it, and that whole character sheet, that's it. Yeah, so, you're trying to tell me this is a role-playing game, but what percentage of it has anything to do with role-playing? That percent, and most of that is a picture. Now you think